This is the book of Second Peter 3, verse 6. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. I want to start off by saying Kal Halal Yom La, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Reka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth and who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Kwatas Sayan, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, with another lesson, with another quick video. And Lord willing, this video is edifying. Gun. So, yet again, GMS Holland is in the news, man. This is from npo3.nl. And this is an article that they made about us from October 19th, 2020. Entitled, Every Saturday in the Belmer, Hebrew Israelites warn us about the coming Third World War. Yeah, man, and that's what it is. That's what the Apostle Tahar dubbed this year as. You know, this is the year of prophecy. So we're here prophesying the downfall and that there's going to be a third world war. You see? So yet again, these devils made an article about us. And what I just read is... Uh, let, let me just read this. This is uh, since 2011. Journalist Gwen, around the corner in Amsterdam, South Oost, has been a group of conspiracy thinkers every Saturday to proclaim that the end of the world is in sight. We have been warning people about the coronavirus for years. Now they come to cry. Now they come to cr to us to cry. Gone. So they label us as conspiracy theorists. And this is a, a funny meme that one of the brothers shared. Noah was a conspiracy theorist. Then it started to rain because in the time of Noah, it didn't rain. In the time of Noah, there was this dew that Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai spread all over the earth, you know, and that's how the the waters, uh, the plants got watered, you see. So people didn't know about rain. So they all thought that Noah was a conspiracy theorist. If that word would have existed in that ancient time, that's what they probably would have labeled him. So now they think that we are conspiracy theorists because we explain that there's going to be a third world war. But um, Esau had made so many treaties, you know, that there's not going to be any war anymore, you know, that people are not going to fight against each other. But he's the one that goes around rape, robbing and murdering. He was the one with, uh, with nuclear capability. He was the only one. But now, you see, all these other nations... The scriptures say, let the weak say I'm strong. All these other nations, they are so-called strong now because how? They have intercontinental ballistic missiles also. Because ESA, because America is not the only uh, country with intercontinental ballistic missiles. You see? And that's why we are warning you about the pending judgment that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to bring upon this earth. So the sword that Esau created is going to fall upon his own head. And you see... Scripture just popped into my mind. I believe it's in Isaiah. Isaiah. Twenty-one. Bear with me for a second. Let me get it in my sword. me for a second yeah, it was, uh, I'm gonna be able to find it was it Isaiah 27. Let's 
selaki hakim. I thought it was Isaiah. It was Isaiah 21. Where it speaks about the sword, his furbish to make a sure slaughter. Or is it Ezekiel? Anyway, let me see what I got here. Come on, let me get this one. This is Ezekiel. Spirit man, Salakiakim. Khan. So this this was the scripture I was looking for. It was in Ezekiel, not in Isaiah. So this is the book of Ezekiel 21. Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith Yahweh Basham Yahushai, say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It com it it contempt, it content the rod of man as every tree. Gone. So this is speaking about these intercontinental ballistic missiles. Because Yahu Basham Yahushai, he made the, the scientists that made the sword. Because the modern day sword is a weapon. And what kind of weapons do you got? You got guns, you got bazooka, you got AK-47s. But you also have these these intercontinental ballistic missiles because in the scriptures these missiles are also also referred to as arrows glittering spears you know so the prophets from back then they used what they could they used their imagination to the best of their abilities to describe what they were seeing you know that they were running like horses in the air because you see smoke behind them and what happens when you have uh, horses in the desert you see smoke also dust particles behind them you see so that's what we are doing here we are prophesying that there's going to be a third world war you know because it's a year of prophecy and let me read the scripture again the second peters 3 and 6 whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. That's what we're warning the people about. The day of judgment that Yahweh Basham Yahweh is going to bring upon this earth. Because he did it once with water. Then he gave us the rainbow as a token to see the covenant that he made. That he's not going to overflow it with water again. But now he's going to do it with fire. Because all in the Bible, everywhere in the Bible you see. That it speaks about that uh, a lake of fire is coming. You know shall be thrown into the lake of fire that's, that's the fire that these intercontinental ballistic missiles are going to have and yahweh shai that's the person who everybody ignorantly calls jesus he's going to be in the midst of that fire you know um killing all these uh, ungodly men gone so this is ezekiel 21 verse 32 thou shalt be for fuel to the fire thy blood shall be in the midst of the land thou shalt no more remember thou shalt be no more remembered for i yahweh bashem yahweh shai have spoken it you see so these ungodly men are going to be destroyed by the fire of these nuclear missiles gone so i'm going to quickly go through a couple of things in this uh, article but i'm going to put the link in the description box also so you could read for yourself Gone. So this is uh, the second part 
violent events and conspiracy theories uh, violent events and conspiracy theories often go hand in hand and that has been so what i'm reading here is that they're trying to put us in a box you know trying to um tell the community tell the people that we are some conspiracy theorists that we are not cases you know the, so, so they're trying to stick us in that box you know that we're not truthers that we're not talking about the truth you see gone violent events and conspiracy theories often go hand in hand and that has been noticeable since corona place for example some conspiracy thinkers think that covid 19 was invented by the government to suppress the population with measures that the salafists are behind it or that bill gates has a patent on it which is true because he yeah but i don't want to speak about that since 2019 a group of conspiracy thinkers have been around the corner in amsterdam amsterdam south Oost every saturday to proclaim that the end of the world is in sight they read scriptures and hold signs warning people about microchips under their skin which already is here the rfid chip you know let me just google that and then you will see how rfid chip that's all i need to write and then you see exactly what we're talking about you see this is the rfid chip this is what is going to be implanted on your skin in your hand so how far-fetched is this this is not far-fetched man done so continuing they read scriptures and hold signs warning people about microchips under the under your skin world war three nuclear fire and eternal slavery along with texts like white people are the devil and that is what we teach also because the word devil goes into diablos which goes into um somebody that you know that is a liar and that is the the the, the person that sides with satan you know and that's these uh these people, these so-called white people, these Edomites, they are the physical counterpart of Satan here on the earth. And of course, they also think that this global crisis is caused by more than a virus. When I bought flowers at the flower kiosk next, next door last April, I heard them shout to passerby that the coronavirus is the start of Heavenly Father's punishment. <laughs> Salakia. Curious about how Corona, microchips, Heavenly Father, nuclear fire, and devilish white people actually relate to each other. I decide to keep them company for a Saturday. I help them hold plates, hand out homemade cookies, and learned all about the last judgment. Gun. So basically, <laughs> it's a long article. So you can take your time and read it i'm gonna put it in the description box uh, yeah man she was going into how if she was able to join our group which the we came at scriptures and we told her that this is not a place for a female and you know it's according to your father's lineage he can't just join this group he can't just coming to the truth because it's, it's not a, a group it's the truth we are telling our people who they are what their biblical name is and what the judgment is you know so that's all we that's all we do and the scripture says in john 10 my sheep will hear my voice so the ones that are fearful they are gonna come and do the works and keep the law statutes and commandments to the best of their abilities you see and this is the female that wrote it, Gwen van der Swan, you know, and she works for Vice. So if you go into that word Vice, this is what you get. So never trust these people, man. They come all like it's, uh, 
you know they come all sweet to your face but they come to destroy man because the this article is not based on based on truth what she speaks about is not grounded because she also speaks about that uh, let me see if i could find it here despite sharing many of the same ideology uh, ideologies that's what she's saying and practices hebrew israelites do not identify with judaism or as christians no man judaism believed that the you can become uh you can be led into judaism by the woman but the bible says everything goes through the father it even is in the word forefathers you never heard about four mothers you know as simple as that or as christians no man these modern day christians they all are motivational speakers they they speak um sweet words you know because they have itchy ears but if you talk about the law and keeping the commandments then they they separate themselves from the bible they say no it's all about what what's in your heart what you believe in what you feel you know but they don't want to keep the laws and that's what the most high already put as a stumbling block you know he put Yahweh Shai as a stumbling block for these people because they so called accept Jesus but they don't want to keep the laws that he kept his whole life you know the one that they call Jesus which is Yahweh Shai he did not sin he's a man that did not sin one day in his life and you want to be walking in his way you want to call yourself a christian but you don't want to do what he did no man that's not right because the bible says uh, pick up your cross and carry it you know meaning you got to go through what he went through you got to go through these afflictions you see gone so further it reads they are part of a global group that originated in america in the 1980s and that's that's a lie because the one west one west has been since uh, 1960 i believe you know so the elders and apostles of great millstone apostle tahar apostle G uh, gabar apostle arrival up apostle raka they have been in the truth uh, especially apostle tahar from since the 1960s the others came afterwards let me see if i click this what group do you get okay great millstone okay yep yep so that's a good link but yeah man so basically you can take your time and read this but esau the slanderer is at it again man and this is a, this is a sign of the times that we're living in you know that perdition is at hand persecution salakia persecution is at hand yeah man i hope this video is edifying and i want to say kal halal yamla yahawa basham yawashai basham raka kodash shalom akem keep on pushing we almost out of here we almost out of here